What a surprise, Mr. Kennedy, for both of us. Now that you're here, I have another surprise. Pleasant for me, and very unpleasant for you. You don't think I came here without protection, do you? Let them come. They can have what's left of you, Craig Kennedy. Those shots. They were meant for me. The clutching hand again. But my bulletproof vest saved me. Do you recognize that incense? That's the same that Hammock used in the colonnade. You're right. I've had a hunch all the time that they were mixed up in this business. Miss McMillan, I want this visit to remain a secret. Just as you say, Mr. Denton. Let's be frank. As Dr. Gironda's secretary, I believe you know more about the gold formula than anyone else outside of Dr. Gironda. Why, Mr. Denton, you don't mean that Not I... Not only for the company, but for personal reasons. I would like to see that gold formula recovered. I guess you understand. I was employed personally by Dr. Duranda. And if I knew anything about the gold formula, I would turn it over to Mrs. Duranda. But, Miss McMillan, you don't understand. I think I do, perfectly. Yes? Have him come in. Have a chair, Mr. Gaunt. Thanks. Of course, you know I sent for you. Yes. I demand that you remove Craig Kennedy from the Gironda case. And uh, what are your reasons? Denton? 
I personally object to having my private business pried into. Well, you know, the government is very much interested in this gold formula. And until it's found, and Dr. Gironda is proven dead or alive, Kennedy stays on the case. If that's all you have to talk about, good day, sir. Miss Dillon. Yes. Get the Harbor Hotel on the phone. Oh, Mr. Kennedy. Hello, Hammock. You seem to be taking a great interest in our colonnade. Yes, more than you can imagine, really. You see, an old friend of mine, a Dr. Nevelet, is interested in the seven steps. Of course, you know Dr. Nevelet. Oh, yes, I, uh, I have heard of him, but I've never had the pleasure of meeting him. A great man and a great philosopher. Then you would like to meet him? Why... Yes, of course. Well, uh, Dr. Niblett, in that case, may attend Mrs. Gironda's Thursday afternoon session. Yes, I'd, I'd be delighted. Well, thank you. I'll notify Mrs. Gironda. Thank you. Then I shall see you on Thursday? Very well, Thursday. Bye. Wait for me. Well, it's all cold. What's cold? This racket. Kennedy's wise to us. Come in. Hi, Blackie. What's the racket? Why, uh, haven't you made some mistake? Mistake nothing. Your name is Blackie Humphreys. What's the game now in this outfit? I've never seen you before. Can it? You and I were cellmates that last stretch in the big house. All right, Harvey. You win. We've been working on the queen of this castle. She's got a fortune in jewels, but now the jig's up. What do you mean, the jig's up? Kennedy's gonna spring a Dr. Niblett on us. Our Thursday afternoon session. 
Well, what of it? Well, he's gonna make us show our hand. I think this Neblet guy's a cop. And just when we were all set to have Mrs. Geronda take the steps of the jewels so we could grab our diamonds and make a getaway, this thing has to happen. I've got it. Let's move the date up to Wednesday. Then you impersonate Dr. Neblet, and we'll get a chance to grab the jewels and make a getaway. What do you say? Okay, that suits me. Swell. You tell the lady about the change in date. All right. So number six is a traitor, eh? Yeah, he's going to impersonate Dr. Neblet. They're going to get Mrs. Geronda's jewels and split three ways. Mm, we'll see about that. You get O'Hara and Wilson. Use plan A, B, and report to me for further orders. So he's going to double-cross me and get the jewels, eh? <laughs> Hello, Verna. How do you do, Mr. Geronda? Hello. Any news about Father? Nothing definite, I regret to say. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I'll forgive you this time. Well, we'd better be on our way. Goodbye, Jameson. Goodbye, Miss Geronda. Goodbye. Goodbye, Craig. See you later. Oh, Jenkins. Any developments? Yes, sir. A message recorded on the visitor over the Geronda hookup. While Miss Geronda was here? Oh, no, sir. Sometime before that. Thank you, Jenkins. Hammock to see you, madam. Show him in, Wickham. Yes, madam. We'll continue this later. Yes, Nicky. Oh. Oh, Hammock. Mr. Kennedy found that Dr. Neblett could not be present on Thursday afternoon and asked if we could advance the meeting to Wednesday. Why, certainly. Hmm. Unfortunately, Mr. Kennedy cannot be present. But after all, Dr. Neblett is the important guest. Yes. I'm very anxious to meet Dr. Neblett. He was delighted to learn that we ought to have the ceremony of the jewels. Really? Yes, it, it is so impressive. Yes, it is. Very well. Then I shall inform Mr. Kennedy. Thank you, Hammock. Good afternoon. That's the costume I want, that white one. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come again.
All right, boys, let's put him in the car. Mitchell comes in, Steve. Tell him I want to see him. He's upstairs now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, that's the way it goes. Hello, Joe. Hello. Got a little job I want you to pull for me Wednesday afternoon. I can't, Wednesday. I've got a date I can't break. Yeah? Well, I'll get someone else. I'll be seeing you. Mrs. Gironda left strict orders not to be disturbed. She's preparing for the ceremony of the jewels to take place in the colonnade. Very well, Wickham. Don't disturb her. Very good, sir. Come along, Walter. Go ahead, Sullivan. We'll keep you covered. Come on. Uh, that'll hold him. Come on. All right, gentlemen. It's all over. You two men are under arrest. Hand over those jewels. Hand them over. 